I'm here at the 100th anniversary of IFA Berlin, one of the biggest tech expos in the world. And it's hosted here at Meze Berlin, or Messe Berlin. Yep. Join me at IFA Berlin. Oh. Robots, robots, robots. Today is all about robots. And recently, I've got a bit of a kink for robots that do different things other than just cleaning your house. And one of those ones is cleaning your pool. Just like the robots from Ybot. Now, these guys, I've stopped here specifically because they have two very special pieces of technology that I've not seen before in robot pool cleaners. And one of those pieces of technology is a technology I've never seen in a cleaning robot house or pool and I wish all cleaning robots had it so we should probably go and have a quick look at that and I think you'll be as amazed as I was. In Ybot we are trying to, uh, to lead te uh, the technology of pool robots by creating real robots and what's a real robot? It's a machine that has a sensorial ability to really feel and sense in certain environment and react accordingly. So that's, uh, that's the motto that we have. We want to lead the technology in the pool cleaning industry. And the way that we chose uh, to do that is to have uh, robots that really behave like human being would, make decisions, and uh, are very efficient in sensing uh, what they should do, and then do it. So this is one of Ybot's newest robots. And, well, the form factor is very much a pool cleaning robot. You've got these great big tank tracks on the side. You've got these kind of paddles on the front that help sweep everything up. But there's a telltale few signs on here that show what technology I was talking about. And that's one of them. So this has a bunch of new sensors which let it do something very cool indeed. Come and have a look at this. Now there's a reason I've got like a little cup of stones and there's a reason I'm sprinkling it currently in here like this. Now come down here. So as you see, all the stones now are on the bottom. Now what makes this robot special, the M2, is that it's got sensors and will automatically go to the area that's dirty. Look, it's already coming here straight away. It literally comes here purposefully to clean the gubbins that have just dropped in the pool. That is phenomenal because all other types of cleaner basically aimlessly wander around or systematically do an entire pool. This is purposeful, this is meaningful and will target areas of dirt and grime and things that have fallen in on purpose and go for it. I, I mean, just how cool is that? We need this in all forms of cleaning robot, not just pool cleaning robots. So this advancement in technology from Ybot is just to make, look, it's done it all, it's cleaned it all. So now it's finished cleaning, we can take a look at what it's managed to sweep up and it puts everything into this large filter basket on the back and you can see inside the stones already. If I just open this up, we'll have a look inside. There's all the stones. I mean, that's pretty cool. That is really efficient. Probably the most efficient robot that I've come across. Big thumbs up. So, once you've emptied it, all you do is get it like this and drop it straight in. Now, the thing is, obviously, you've dropped that in the pool, and yes, you do have to remove it to empty out the gravel. And when you come to charge it, you also have to remove it from the pool. But Ybot have come up with a solution for having to remove it to charge it, and it's quite good. Come and have a look at this. Now, inside here, you can see the shadow of a robot, and this is the S2. Now, it's got all of the same features as the M2, so with the targeted cleaning around the pool and all the sensors and all the same sort of technology, but it has one very big difference that makes the S2 quite special. Now, the second innovation that I wanted to show you is this, a solar panel, which in itself is not innovation, but what makes it innovation is the fact that it's attached to that, a charger that sits in the pool for the S2 solar robot. 
shocking. But in all seriousness, it's not shocking at all. It's safe as anything because it goes in the pool, it's wireless, so there's no dangling cables or exposed charging bits. It's completely safe and it means that the robot stays in the pool all year round and then you only have to remove it once in a while to change or clean the filters. That is fantastic. And although it might not be some incredible step forward, what it is, is an intervention-free pool cleaning experience. And I love intervention-free robots. The less I have to mess around with it, the less I have to run maintenance on it or charge it or pick it up or do something, the better. And by including this, you're adding that intervention-free experience to pool cleaning robots, and that gets a massive thumbs up from me. How cool is that? So that's everything from Ybot at IFA 2024. Some incredible advancements in pool cleaning robots and just cleaning robots in general. I love that technology that can single out piles of dirt or piles of area of mess and clean it up specifically rather than having to do the entire area. I just think that's so good and it's a real sign of things to come and I love the advancements that these guys have made in cleaning robots. If you do want to check out Ybot, I'll leave a link below to their website so you can take a look at all of their wares. And if you are here at IFA 2024, come and take a look at these guys in Hall 9. And lastly, if you want to see any IFA content from me, 2024, I'll leave a playlist below so you can take a look at that. But it's probably time we move on to the next thing at IFA 2024.